Hey, in today's video, I'm going to show you 15 tips to use on OBS Studio for your stream. My name is Rodrigo and you are watching. All right, so before we start the tutorial, if you are new on the channel, welcome. And if you are not subscribed yet, just go and subscribe if you like this video. And also, if you like this video, go ahead and like it to support the channel to grow as well. Also, uh, we stream in Monday to Friday. The schedule is down below in the description. And if you want to be a member of our servers, we have a, a guild server as well and also Discord. And in this video right here, we're going to be using an overlay that I purchased a long time ago from on3d.tv. Um, I purchased that and I use a different one right now and uh, really, really good overlays over there. Uh, they have uh, alert sounds over there on the website. They have uh, emotes and badges. You can also look for logos and avatars. You also can make a, your trailer for your Twitch or your YouTube channel. So they are very, very good and uh, different ways over there to improve your stream. And if you'd like to get uh, one of those, just go ahead and in the description below, have uh, a link as well to support our channel. So let's go jump to the OBS studio. We start with our first tip. All right, so we are right here on the OBS studio. And if, just so you guys know, I'm using OBS studio 27 uh, version six for this test. And uh, they didn't come out yet by the time I released this video. However, if you would like as well to uh, use a uh, OBS 27 to test like I'm doing right now as well. I just did a video uh, a couple a couple weeks ago. I'm mean, putting on the on the top of this video a card so you can click and check it out. So let's go ahead and start with the tip number one of this video. And it's going to be OBS themes and uh, uh, what you need to do uh, to acquire a, a better looking or different looking for your OBS. You just got to go to settings uh, and then settings right here. You have a theme. Uh, this is pretty good. This is the way it come. The steaming that you're seeing right now is the way they come when you install uh, the program. And um, you can actually change for a different color. Like right now, it will be like a little blue with a little dark color. Those are different themes. Um, and they also have uh, the system one, which is very bright. I don't have no idea if somebody wanted to use as, uh, but it's very bright. Um, it's in your eyes. <laughs> And then also I have uh, this one here, which I particularly like, and I'm going to leave like that for now for this video. Tip number two will be OBS stats doc. So for you to add this to your OBS, you just got to go here on view. You're going to go to docs and you're going to go to stats. Once you got this already, uh, you can move this around anywhere you want. Um, I usually put around here and that if what is this important is because you can check basically how your computer is function and actually how many uh, CPU usage is using why you uh, broadcasting or using anything in your OBS is a very, very handle tool. highly recommended for you to put it in at all the time so you can check. All right. Tip number three will be disabling the preview windows on your OBS. Why this is important. If you have uh, your computer and actually using a lot of CPU or you're actually using a CPU a percentage that you wanted to lower a little bit, you can do this by disabling your preview windows on your OBS while you're streaming. To do that, you got to go to your preview window, just right click, uh, click on preview, uh, enable preview, and it will be uh, not preview anymore, giving you a little bit more boost on your CPU while you're streaming. All right, so tip number four will be uh, creating groups on your sources. And this is a very important because you can either move, uh, create a group that you can move things all together without having to move anything individually or and also to actually organize more your sources. Uh, so to do that, let's go to the game scene right here. Um, then I'm going to give an example that is this is me uh, just playing a video as as an, a webcam right now. And then uh, this is the webcam. So if you put all your sources all separate and, and without groups, what is going to happen? If you're going to move, for example, your camera, you're going to move your camera and the camera, the other, the, the other, uh, the, the camera layout doesn't go anywhere. So uh, why is it important to do groups? Because you can move everything together. So what, what, how are you going to do that? 
Uh, first of all, you're gonna go here and a plus sign on your sources. You're going to down the bar and create a group. Uh, just name uh, anything. I'm gonna name camera or uh, cam. Just cam, and then uh, create a group. Now, what you're going to do? You're gonna drag your camera under that group right there, and you're gonna uh, drag as well your webcam overlay under as well that group. The way when you click like that, everything is under our group. And uh, one, the cool thing about this is if you want to move everything, okay, if you want to move everything on the on this uh, this group right here, you just under the group, you can move everything or the camera or whatever you want. So, all right, so tip number five, enable snapping on your OBS settings. Uh, what you're going to do is, uh, first of all, I'm going to show without it, actually. If you're going to use uh, without snapping, you go, if you wanted to move your camera anywhere, it does not like uh, you can move any anywhere in uh, on the screen uh, the way uh, you know perfectly free the way you want it. But the snap actually help you to actually snap on the corner or or like a central a central in the middle if you need it or in the corner right here. It's a very handle too if you wanted to actually allocate different things on your screen. Uh, to make more organized so for do that uh, you go to settings uh, and you're going to uh, right here on the source alignment snapping uh, if you're not enable just click enable and the snap sens sensitivity I usually leave on 7.0 um, you can play around a little bit more at around 10 is pretty good too um, and I uh, leave, I click I, leave, I check the snap sources uh, to the edge screen, snap sources to the uh, other sources, um, and uh, the last one too is uh, snap sources and horizontal and vertical center. You click apply, click OK, and then now when you're going to try to uh, move this around, it kind of snap around like uh, like right here, snap on the on the corner or like uh, around right here to give a little edge. That's a pretty good hand tool for if you wanted to do different uh, sources in, a, in, in, a, in your layout and that helps to organize everything else. All right, so tip number six will be how you can resize your camera uh, to fit in an in a, in a overlay frame using on your keyboard, uh, use out, for example, right here, it fits perfectly. But let's say if you need one, uh, if you need a square one or something that you wanna to cut up a little bit. So when you press out, and you click right in one of those borders and drag in you cut the camera just the way you want so you just hold uh, hold out and then you just cut whatever you want in your camera to fit anywhere that you need all right so tip number seven will be uh on uh, a, a obs 27 feature which is undo uh you can hold uh the control key and z and it will come back from whatever changes that you did that you didn't want to uh like say you you change something you move something and you're like oh my goodness i i don't know how to go back just hold control z in this game i in this in this case i did change my camera so control z look it keep it going back the way it was and that's it tip number eight color code on your sources for your uh for your and your sources if you want to organize by color code on your uh on your source you can do that for example if you want the display to be uh when you right click and you go to set color and custom color let's say i want my display to be uh red uh click ok and that color source is red and let's say my folders i wanted to right click set color and let's say i want a yellow so it can make a little bit more organized and um, uh, it's a pretty cool feature that if you wanted to use it in your stream tip number nine locking your volume on your sources how you do that uh, right here, I have a, a, a music uh, that I just put right here just to demonstrate and it's playing right now. Um, sometimes if you don't lock, if you uh, if you don't lock or leave it the way it is, sometimes if you stream and you have a different audio over there, you can by mistake sometimes when you want in this position and uh, for some reason, you, uh, you know, you uh, it goes to a different uh, position for some, some reason by mistake. Um, how you can lock this to let's say you wanna exactly in that set 
So what you're gonna do, you're gonna right click on the on the, on here on the uh, on the volume, and you're gonna lock. When you click lock, it won't go nowhere. It's exactly the way you want. Also, if you wanna unlock, you just go ahead and right click and click lock, and it unlock for you as well. All right, tip number ten: hide sources volume. If you own a, uh, if you have a lot of sources right in the side, and then some of those sources have a volume on it, and then you don't use it, and it's right here, you can actually hide them by right click on the source that you want to hide, and you just go ahead and click hide, and uh, it will be out of out, out of that list right there, which will give you more spaces, more space for you. If you want to bring that back, you just right click on the empty space, unhide all, and we'll be back right there what it was before. Tip number 11, screenshot on OBS. Now, if you want to uh, ha uh, uh, get a screenshot from your gameplay or for anything on your stream, uh, on your preview, what you're gonna do, you're gonna go to settings, you're gonna go to hotkeys, and you're gonna go down to uh, screen output. And over here, you're gonna just sign a, uh, any key. I'm gonna put F12 right now. Click apply, okay. And what you're gonna do, um, you're going to uh, uh, this screenshot is gonna be where you save your recording in OBS. So right here is my recording. So what I gotta do is just press F12, and we'll record a screenshot to anything around this area right here um, on your OBS. Tip number twelve: using different transitions in different scenes. So. If you wanted to have a uh, transition that you want to uh, make it different from one scene to the other, uh, let's say, for, for example, for in starting and you go to the game scene, you have this transition. But when you want to go to the end scene for some reason, you want to change that. What you have to do, you got to go to uh, the scene that you want to change. You right click. And over here, you're gonna see uh, a play uh, uh, option say transition override. You just go over here and override and choose each one you wanna to be different than the main one. So, for example, right here, I wanna fade. So, what happened is when I go to the start transition, uh, it go it uses the normal stinger. If you wanted to go to the game scene, use the normal one that I want, but I, I wanted to have a different thing on the end scene. So, when I change there, the end scene just use the one that you override it. All right, tip number 13. This tip right here is uh, using transition on your sources. This tip is basically on OBS 27 that's coming out. Um, you can actually use any source that you have here uh, and actually put a transition to appear in your stream um, just by selecting, for example, I have the camera right here that we create a group. Uh, if you right click and you have these two options, show transition and high transition. So what I'm going to show you right here, for example, and uh, to show my webcam and the overlay, let's say I'm gonna uh, use actually the uh, slide and I'm gonna put a uh, slide up to show that the camera when uh, I turn on. And uh, I'm gonna click again on the cam groups right here because why I'm doing the groups because that way the overlay and the camera can come together. If you want to separate, you can do separate as well. Uh, and then I'm going to hide my camera doing the same thing. Slide, uh, slide down and, and I click OK. You also can preview how that how that works. Uh, click OK. And what and now what's happened is if you want to hide my camera and I click to uh, to turn off, it will hide like that it will go down and if you want to turn back on you go up tip number 14 best file type to record your videos on your obs studio the best way for you to actually to record any type or restream file anything in your uh, obs will be if you go to settings let me show you here right here on output and you go to record over here, you're gonna uh, you're gonna bring a, uh, a uh, some settings that you can actually um, you know where you're saving your recording files um, and what type of recording format you wanna save it. Now, uh, I believe when you open this for the first time, you're gonna be MP4, which is fine to save it. However, it also give you all the other options. But I'm gonna talking about MKV. 
which is that one you want to select it. Now, MKV is uh, what well, the difference of MKV to MP4 is if you are recording something or your stream and uh, your power goes off and you lose power on your computer, MP4 will not save in your computer. That means that you will lose it everything that you have been recording if that happens now if you select the mkv uh on your on obs right here apply uh if you're recording for example for two hours hours goes off it will save it that file to your computer so you'll not lose all the recording that you have been done so far tip number 15 how to create a nest scene so nest scene basically is a, a source that you're going to create under the scenes and that in that scene you're going to put under another scene so it can have a better customization so what you gotta have to think is to create the sources that you or that you want to use it to change in, in different scenes like your microphone maybe uh, different scenes, uh, different microphone customization, or actually a camera. Uh, if you wanted to use your camera in different scenes with a different color without actually have to be affecting that source. So um, what you're gonna do first right here, uh, like I say, think about this is a source. You're gonna go ahead and give uh, add it. I'm gonna add my camera right here under the scene. So I'm gonna call that scene a camera, okay? And uh, click okay. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to add my camera. Okay. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to add a media source because, um, because I am using my camera. I cannot put my camera right there. So you see as a, as a, a camera. So right here, I have a, a, a scene under my camera, correct? So if you wanted to add it, this camera to another scene, for example, if I go to just chatting, right? That's uh, nothing in just chatting right now. But uh, uh, if you want to add over here, you can add down here my camera. Instead of add your camera and the source, which is video capture, you're going to add a scene that we create. So when you create a camera scene right here, so you just click on the camera and there we go. Your camera is right here as well, but it's not as a source, but as a scene. So what you can do about it is for example, on the, under your camera, for example, this camera right here that is under the gaming scene, let's say you want to just leave it like that, but in your chat, you want to change the color of the camera. Let's say you want to change for black and white. So we're going to this camera unseen. We're going to right click. We go into filters and you're going to add a filter. And let's say you go to color correction, add a color correction and a saturation all the way black and white, leaving black and white right there. And what you what you're going to see now that if you go to the just chatting, it's gonna be black and white. But if you're going to the game scene, it's gonna be color because that we just made a scene to change it, and then you can use that scene to any another scenes so you can use it a different a different effects that you want in your camera all right so this is all the 15 tips that we have from obs studio i hope this could improve your stream and also help you to actually get all your stream pretty cool with these overlays and everything that you learn in this video if you'd like more videos like this don't forget to comment below on the uh, on our channel and I really appreciate for watching this video. I'll see you guys on the next video. To finish the game or close to it or PS3, that will be awesome too. My apologies. I couldn't hear what you said. That's my Siri. What the heck is going on? <laughs> Did you guys hear that?